Hello. We don't have any other friends. So we all hang out in the evenings. Tonight is movie night. Ben is in charge of the snacks. And we're in charge of making them look good. So we've reinvented the evening snack and come up with small, dainty, elegant chocolate bites paired with the flavours of blueberry, coconut and lime. You're going to love them. We'll plate them up so they look incredible and are impressive too. And then you guys, yeah. you get to do something else with them to turn them into a blockbuster. First up, the recipe, and it couldn't be simpler. We're going to start off with dark chocolate, like 85% cocoa, in a bowl. And what you want to do is melt it in a microwave. Probably needs no more than a minute until it is nice and gooey. That was the quickest microwave ever. Wow, it was silent as well. Yeah. Now, chocolate and cereal on its own sets up nice and firm. What we're going to do is loosen the mixture and cut through the richness with some natural yogurt, plus the zest of a lime. So it's kind of got a natural tang to the richness of the dark chocolate. Mix it all together. Once you're happy, it's lovely and smooth and glossy. We're going to stir in two incredible flavours, fresh blueberries and desiccated coconut texture and when these are semi-frozen a pop of freshness and now for the cereal part of our chocolate cereal bites and that's going to be special K. you want about two portions so 60 grams into the bowl and stir the whole lot up that's what you're looking for just enough chocolate and yogurt to bind it all together and when it sets up it will stick solid so what we want to do is place blobs on a tray lined with baking paper about a teaspoon's worth at a time we should get about 16 out of this. And if you just make sure they're all compact enough so that the chocolate will set, then what you can do is put these into a freezer and all they will need is about 15 minutes. You don't want them frozen all the way through, just semi-frozen and they're ready to serve. Out of the freezer and a dusting of coconut, you see they've kind of set up nice and solid. We can do a little bit more lime, some fresh blueberries, drop in and around, and a final crunch with a little bit more special K. And there we go, they can stay in the freezer until that perfect moment in the film when you're ready to serve them. It's our Special K Frozen Chocolate Bites, sorted. They do look fantastic, don't they? They are unbelievable. But we are all about inspiration here, so we don't want to just give you one way of presenting these. We're going to give you another, but we don't know what that other one is because we haven't worked it out yet. So this next bit is going to be a montage of us trying to make these look big. That's the thing, we only know one thing. Height. At this point, it's go big or go home. This needs to be centered. I feel like we're going to go big, it's going to fall over, and, and then, then we're, we're going to go home. Yeah. I reckon we've got five minutes to work with. Five minutes? Yeah, you know, like... before they melt. I've got a plan. Go on. Out of the three of us, who is the one that always manages to make things look good? Bear in mind, these have got to square, haven't they? So Barry that's maths. Sense. So... Oh, not Barry. Right, now these are out, I've just realised they're all going to start warming up, aren't they? Do you want to put these ones back? Yeah, you put them back in the freezer. I was going to do a, a hollow middle. A hollow middle? Yeah. So they kind of lean, they, they, they lean in on each other. I'm not oh, sure I want to be a part of your group. Right, we need more. Mate, can you go and get well, some more I out of the freezer? just put them yeah. back. We need some more, mate, right out. <laughs> go, I'm going to get some salt, because salt and chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah. do it, do it. Now, I'm just going to add some little pops of colour. Lads. Lads. Let's get, get Ebbers in to have a look at this. I was quite happy with what I had. And then yeah. you went and yep. did that. Good nine inches. Well, let's try the chef's ones. They're great. Absolutely brilliant. The pop of the blueberry. Dark chocolate and yoghurt. A winning combo. Refreshing chocolate. Crunchy chew of cereal. It's good, but I have to go for one of these. Probably this one. Oh. He's jamie it. That is like the celebratory croque en bouche of the frozen chocolate bite world. I like the fact you've given it your own flair, not just the blueberries and the coconut, but pistachio, raspberries, a little bit of sea salt, nice touch. Well, think about it like this. If three idiots can make a croque en bouche, imagine what you could do at home. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I think it kind of encapsulates everything about Sorted in one, kind of like taking an ingredient or a dish that you wouldn't necessarily expect, turning it into something really tall. <laughs> <laughs> or just different. <laughs> 
different. I think that, different. that sums us up. Yeah. If you want all the details for today's recipe, you can get them all downstairs. And if you really like this video, then really give it a like. We really appreciate it. We'll see you in the fridge next time. See Bye. You later. Goodbye. Got any ideas for snacks using Kellogg's cereal? Share your photos on Kellogg's Facebook page using the hashtag BecauseYum.